Why, look. It's the bastard son of the late William Kidd. Still a mere boy, and yet... Ten times the demon his father was. Fancy seeing you here, can we? Still looking sleek and mean. Did you steal that costume from a dandy in Havana? No, sir. I found this on a corpse. One that was walking about and talking shite to my face only moments before. Huh. So, what's this I hear about a planned raid on a plantation? Not keeping secrets from me, are you? Not very well. Every day, schooners packed with sugar sail past, coming from plantations nearby. Most times they stop here, sell off a few crates. There's one man visiting today that had earned you a fine profit. So if you'd like to rob his plantation, I'll point him out. I would. Is it a Mr. Beckford that owns this plantation? That's the man. He owns dozens round these islands. And he's bloody rich. Just the sort I like to see robbed. His agent is around here somewhere. Find and follow him, and he'll lead you straight to your prize. <laughs> Despite the waywardness of your enterprise here, I understand that you are men of discernment. Frenchman. Oh dear! Did not hear of relinquishing the ship's galley till the last bottle was dry. <laughs> Exemplary indeed! To me, we've done with this place. Aye, sir. What's our course? We'll return to the plantation and there take stock of our inventory. It was a good harvest this year. <laughs> Not what the locals This is here our friendly port camp. Nonsense, man. I had a delightful conversation with the chap just now. We came to fight. As you see, sir. All up and unfurl, boys. We're going home. No, you don't. Not worth the effort. <laughs> 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 Captain, you have the look of a man crafting a bold idea. The look I've seen before. You mark well, Ade. I've just overheard one of the Beckford's men talking grandly about his plantation and all the cargo he's keeping. And he gave me the idea that I might take these goods off him and sell them off for a better price than he'd ever ask. <laughs> ah, a man of vision. I like this idea. To starboard! Cast away! Screws up! Eat her sticks! We ride the wind for all she's worth! 
Hold on it. There's trouble afoot. I see them. He's off the wind. Party now, my trumps. I'd not hear you. Loose all. Let's move. Unfurl aloft. Man your sheets. Shorten sail. Get off the squall. This man's working for Peter Beckford's people. Do you know them? The Beckfords and the Sugar Empire. Aye. The Beckfords and the Draxes. I never worked their plantations, but I knew their names from hearing other men curse them. But you worked the plantation, no? A modest one, aye. As a striker in the boiling house. Boiling house? Was it water they boiled? Or something else? Cane juices. It's a hard process making sugar. Dangerous. It must be why it fetches such a dear price. What's it like? Toiling on a plantation day and night. Well, with the cane sugar cut and harvested, it's run between two metal rollers that crush the juice from the plant. After collecting the juice, it was time to boil away the waters from the sugar. This we did in patches with pump. Let me tell you, brother, boiling sugar is near the hottest thing on earth. Just a touch on the skin will stick like wood lime and burn on, leaving a terrible scar. Jesus. Is picking up nasty. Ghost the Royals, Tom. Storm there, Captain. Looks bad. Storm, Captain. Looks bad. It's a risk to anchor too close. Soldiers roving the plantation would catch us for sure. Drop here then and sneak ashore. We look after the jackdaw. Take them all in! Go! Go! such disarray. Bit of a do, sir, that's all. It's Wilmington's birthday. And you saw fit to get pickled on duty. No bother, sir. We have everything sorted. We'll soon see, won't we? For you must double the watch this evening. Double, sir? Whatever for? I believe I was followed here, young man. By pilots, if my eyes are on me. Though the ship was uncommonly large for such rascals. Certainly wasn't slavers, though. Not a ship that size. In any case, double the watch. 
and keep your damned eyes wide for anything suspicious. You up there! Look alive, man! You've a job to do! Apologies, sir. I'll keep my eyes peeled. What the hell is going on here today? How do you suppose you'll be able to ring that alarm if you're pissed drunk and barely able to stand? Forgive me, sir. I am fit and able. If I see any strangeness about, you'll hear the bell ringing straight away, I promise. I'd like to speak to the man in charge here. I require entrance to the warehouse. Which of you dogs has the key to the warehouse, huh? The key, goddammit! Someone find me the key! Use your knees, lad. I'll not have you through your Is there no one over here? Fetch me the warehouse key if you please. You! Heavy or not, it's all got to be moved, lads. He's doing a leg up! Oh, he's a bell! And I'll hear no more complaints. You're paid to work. We're not done here, Smith. You can gab later. Heavy or not. Alarm! Rouse yourselves, you dullards! Stop him! Let someone else do the brain bits. <laughs> <laughs> 